Hello everybody, this is ToxicStar94 here and it's time for my first commentary. Today, I'm going to be doing a commentary on Brayden's Rants and More, and yes, that is his channel name. And he recently made a rant on Cartoon Network, and the rant was awful. So, I'm not going to waste any time here, let's get started. Today, we're going to do a rant, okay? This is a rant about Cartoon Network. Now, before y'all judge me and say, Oh, Brain, there's been a million people who've ranted about this channel. It's re it's stupid. Well, Whoa, it's as if you read my mind. No, look, I'm going to go off on things that I, I have to get out of my off my chest here. Cartoon Network have lost it, okay? They've gone from 1992 to 2005. 15, and since 1992, when they first started, those were their golden years. From then to 2005, it was great. They had the city era, the checkerboard era, the, you know, all these eras, and they were all very brilliant and very well thought out. They had characters talking to each other. I mean, come on, who does that? Nickelodeon didn't freaking do that. Okay. But what about the cartoons they showed at those eras? Are you going to explain why those cartoons are apparently better? I, are you? Oh my god, explain. Explain your reasoning. That will make your rant a lot more bearable. You didn't see them put their effort on that. You see, this is what made the channel such a great channel. And when they take all the city eras, all the old classic cartoons that put them on the map for television... That's when the channel went downhill. In 2007, and all of this went downhill. It went from the Himalayas all the way down to the ground. Yeah, because when my favorite cartoons end, even though all shows are meant to end, Cartoon Network went downhill. Oh my god. You do realize that all good things must come to an end, right? And if they don't come to an end, they'll end up like Spongebob. See, Spongebob, by most people, was considered, was considered a good cartoon in the pre-movie era, but then after that, it became crap. That's the same thing, that could've, the same thing could've happened easily to those cartoons. Hell, Edda and Eddie in its, like, last two seasons, at least in my opinion, was starting to get old. I mean, it wasn't bad in the last two seasons, don't get me wrong, it was great, but it was still starting to get old. It went so freaking high. It was such a great channel. And then it falls on its face. Completely. They started airing live action shows like, Dude, what would happen? Basically, a teenage version of um, Mythbusters. Um, um, i trying to think of that other show. Hmm. Bil destroy, build, destroy. Now, my question to you. What is the name? Okay, let's see. Let me think. It's Cartoon Network, for God's sake. The channel, it says it all. It says it all. Cartoon Network is supposed to be all cartoons 24-7 a day. Okay, let me tell you two things. Number one, due to what would happen in Destroy, Build, Destroy, the two examples you listed are cancelled. And both of these shows don't exist anymore. Which leads me to my second point. Cartoon Network doesn't show live-action shows anymore because of the poor ratings. In fact, the, li the last live-action show shown on Cartoon Network was Incredible Crew, which ended in 2013, or The Annoying Orange Show, if you count that as live-action instead of a cartoon, which ended in 2014. And now, they have, they had live-action shows. That's stupid, Cartoon Network. That was a horrible move for you to do to your channel. And if that wasn't bad enough, we have one man, one man, to hate for this. His name is Stuart Snyder. And I have to say right now, I am so freaking happy he's out of office. Because all he did was ruin our childhood. You know what? I really hate it when people say stuff like, Oh, this ruined my childhood. Because his childhood was never ruined. Your childhood was something that happened in the past. How could something in the future change something that happens in the past? Or hell, even in the present for that matter. How can something that happens in the present change something that happens in the past? Are you really telling me that just because the present sucks, your past also sucks as well? Fucking hell. And to all those people out there like Monster Reviews and uh, 
Pan Guy Guys, or um, that one guy, I can't remember his name, or Monsters Review, yeah, to him and all the other YouTubers out there who do rants, I feel your pain. I'm seeing it from its golden age. Well, I started watching in like 2000. Like, I watched it, and they were still adding Ed and Eddie, Curse Cali Dog, Powerpuff Girls, all these cartoons. They made this channel. And then one day, Stuart Snyder came in, being a freaking retard, and said, Hey, let's put live action shows on Cartoon Network. This will get the kids raging, huh? And then they put CN Reel. This ran from like 2007 to, I believe, 2010. Actually, CN Reel ran from 2009 and ended off in 2010. Next time, do some research! And it ended in 2010. And thank the lords that that ended. No one likes live action on Cartoon Network. Let's just put that out there. Level Up can go kiss its freaking ass. Freaking, um, Incredible Crew, more like Incredible Bullcrap. Who wants to see that? No offense, Nick Cannon, but if you're going to put a live action show, don't put it on Cartoon Network. Go put it on Nick or something. I mean, they don't even have that many live action shows in the first place. I only have two words. This screenshot. But anyway, back to what I was saying. People, they've lost it. Okay? First, they went, they rebooted Teen Titans, okay? And we thought, of course, it can't be a shitty Cartoon Network rant without mentioning Teen Titans Go. Why am I not surprised? The one, season one, it was crap from the beginning. There was no action, there was no comp, there is no freaking plot. It's all this toilet humor. Now, let's think back to maybe 2008. Look at freaking Amazing Adventures of Flapjack. That show, yes, that was worse than Teen Titans Go. Oh. My. God. How hard is it to edit out your fucking pauses on Windows Movie Maker? In here, people, is they've lost it. I'm sorry, but they gotta get the crap under control, because one day their channel is gonna completely fall off the map, and before long, Disney Channel and Nick are gonna become the big kid networks. Yeah, I highly doubt that would happen considering the fact that most, if not all, of Cartoon Network's programming are right now are doing well with ratings. Adventure Time, Regular Show, Steven Universe, Gumball, Clarence, and Teen Titans Go, the show you hate so much, are doing moderately to greatly well when it comes to ratings. They have to watch this horrible animation, ho stupid CGI, toilet humor cartoons. What I like to see is Ed and Nettie. That was a show that I personally liked and I still like today. And I thought that captured the adult humor and the kid humor and put it into one show. I do agree that there should be adult humor inside kids shows so adults who are watching this show can have some enjoyment. However, I think some of the new Cartoon Network shows do that just fine, particularly Adventure Time and Regular Show. Same with Courage Cow and Dog. And yes, I know I'm going to sound dumb, and I'm going to sound like a retard, but I, I, I mean, Powerpuff Girls, don't judge me. Okay, just a quick question, but who did you say, don't judge me to? Are you telling me that there is actually somebody watching you rant right now? And if that's the case, then you must be laughing his ass off. But jokes aside, is it really that hard to find some privacy? That show was a decent show. That show put the um oh, on the channel. It was a good show, just like the rest of them before it. And then... In 2007, the dawn of the horrible Cartoon Network. The dawn of it. And since 2007, we've had nothing but retarded shows. I'm going to name a couple shows I do like. Regular Show, Adventure Time, and Steven Universe. I hate Uncle Grandpa. Number one, how is it possible for a grandpa to be an uncle? That is retarded. Clearly, you have never heard of incest. And also, it's a cartoon. It's not supposed to be taken fucking seriously. I know it's a cartoon, but put some logic behind it a little bit. Please. 
And this is coming from the guy who thinks Powerpuff Girls is a good show. I mean, yeah, it's an opinion, but if you're talking logic, putting sugar, spice, and everything nice along with a random chemical named after a letter does not make three super-powered little girls with no hands, feet, or noses. That is going to make kids retarded. They're going to actually think it's possible for a grandpa to be an uncle. Do we really want to teach our kids that? The cartoon is not trying to teach anything. It's just a cartoon made for kids so they can have a laugh at it. That's it. Nothing more. Damn. Put it back on the map. Bring back Ed, Ed, Nanny, Courage, Cali Dog. And Powerpuff Girls. They actually did try to do that with Cartoon Planet. What is Cartoon Planet? Well, it's a block that ran on Cartoon Network from 1995 to 1998, but it was revived in 2012 and showed old cartoons like Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and Powerpuff Girls and Courage. However, it ended on 2004, 14 be because of poor ratings. See what I mean? Also, if you want to watch the old cartoons so badly, just go buy their DVDs, or better yet, you could find some episodes online and even on YouTube. So, what are my final thoughts? Well, this rant was toilet-eating levels of awful, and had many problems. You need to understand that Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network is targeted towards kids, and if kids are enjoying and watching the shows they have, then I really don't see the issue. So, all I'm just gonna say is, Maybe write a script to help with your points and think of much better points because your points were just garbage.